there may be outdoor display of the goods for sale, and I think the comparison that was used is something like Healy Chevrolet, which is in the CS, not the DS, but the requirement is the same. Sales take place in a building, but outdoor display of merchandise exists. So that threshold determination, which is what we were talking about back in, in March and April, has been decided. The question that comes next is, now that the use has been determined to be permitted, is site plan approval required? And it's the same issue that we faced uh, on the last applicant. Uh, Section 10.2 of the ordinance says that in all districts, site plan approval by the planning board shall be required for, one, the erection or enlargement of all buildings, two, all uses of vacant land, three, any change in use or the intensity of the use which will significantly affect the characteristics of the site, this is what we were talking about before, 10 point the off-site parking, yeah. So you got to determine whether any of these thresholds are, are met. Uh, if the sales activities must take place in a, a building, then, then there has to be a building, so I would think site plan approval is required. Right. That's the way it appears to me. I haven't seen the decision. They said that when, when the zoning board said that uh, sales need to be performed inside a structure, they were not they said now, they I, Well, I don't know what they said, but the language of the code is all permitted uses, right. other than off street parking, shall be carried on in buildings fully enclosed on all sides. So I, I assume they said that provided that the sales activities take place in a building fully enclosed on all sides, then it's permissive. Yeah. Can I clarify? The, the plan that was previously submitted shows a sales, I think it's referred to as a sales shed or a sales office. So that's where the business would be conducted. And prospective customers would come to the site, Mr. Riley or someone on his staff would show them the different models that were available. Once they selected them, like we did at a car dealership, you then would go to the sales office and fill out the paperwork and that thing. This is a permanent building. If I'm not mistaken, uh, it was indicated that this was not going to be a permanent building. My, that's my understanding as well as a shed that can be Any yes or no? That's the answer, Mr. Riley. Mr. why don't you ask Mr. Riley. The shed is not going to be permanently affixed to the site. It will not. Yeah. Well, another threshold is if we're hung up on the word building, all uses of vacant land also required. And there's two ways to look at that. This is really part of the Pizza Hut site. It's not its own separate lot. It's part of Pizza Hut, but. Uh, okay. And then, of course, the third threshold that we just talked about before, does this affect, does it not significantly affect the characteristics of the site <coughs> in terms of required off-street parking, loading access, granted utilities, etc. So if it exceeds any of those thresholds, and that's for you to determine, then site plan approval is required. If it does not, they have their variance, they can proceed and get the building. What amendments? What did it does? I think it's our number one. And number two, I'm concerned about the, uh, we mentioned at a previous meeting um, that the people that are leasing that property is Pizza Hut. And we haven't seen any representation from, from Pizza Hut at all. Well, I, I have a lease. I think there is. Yeah, yeah I, have a, I have a fax and a copy of the lease from the owners of the property. How long is that lease? From the owner. How long is the lease? The, the duration? Yeah. Or how many pages? No, no, no. <laughs> no. The duration of the lease. Couple things. <laughs> uh, the 10 year lease with a 10 year renewal. For the, the applicant or for Pizza Hut? For Pizza Hut. Right. So that's okay. the question. No, about the applicant. Right. no, the question is Pizza Hut is renting that, that whole parcel. No. The, their lease is for a portion of the property, and the lease allows the owner to lease the balance to Mr. Riley. The applicant is going to use the Pizza Hut property to access the owner right. property. Is that correct? That is correct. And then, well, he's asking. But it's all one parcel. Yes. It's all one parcel. Correct. Pizza Hut is leasing that parcel. No. Pizza Hut well, owns it. They're leasing it to this guy. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no, 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 but no. It's Matthew Street Property LLC oh. that owns the property. I got it. Leasing the that property to Pizza Hut. Oh. If I meant one lot. A portion of the property. They own the big piece. A portion of that property is leased to Pizza Hut. They're going to lease the other portion, the vacant, to this applicant. I think what the question is, is there's one parcel. Yeah, that's okay. But you can have two uses on it. You can you can lease different parcels off. But the, I think the question that we would have is, 
the Pizza Hut portion, they're going to access to the Pizza Hut lease property and they're going to be parking on the Pizza Hut. Correct. So there has to be something from Pizza Hut Correct. through the agreement well, okay. allowing them. We have to provide you with a copy of the lease that was sent to us between the record owner and the Pizza Hut. Uh, it's an LLC that is a franchise holder. And that permits the property owner to lease out the balance of the property and use the parking lot. Yeah. There you go. Okay. 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 Again, we fall into the, well, we have three times. CS uh, zone disk. This is not a CS. This no. is a uh, yes. CS. CS. We still fall in the uh, for the site plan approval. Ten point two applies everywhere. Yeah. Ten point two zoning ordinance. Yeah. Waiver it, or you want to you want to have the site plan? Challenge. You might have to repeat that. Yeah. Sorry, Mike. No problem. The site plan approval is required in all districts for one, the erection or enlargement of all buildings. Two, for all uses of vacant land. Three, Three uses of vacant land. Yeah. Three. Go. Go yeah. This is a all use of vacant land. Vacant land. Well, this is it depends upon how you slice it. Or if you say it's part of the occupied <laughs> pizza hut, yeah, they just it for me. It's, it's, it's one parcel. I'm, but not, I'm not quarreling with you. Okay, no, no. Well, I, I'm not quarreling with you either, Mike. Okay. I'm just, I'm just throwing I'm something on the clarify. table here. Okay. Right. Well, I said it was one parcel. It was clarified that it's one parcel, but but the. Two managed the company is leasing inside. one half, and now the vacant part is being leased to someone else. Yeah. So it's a vacant parcel. The third one is four, for any change of use or in the intensity of use of a building or land which will significantly affect the characteristics of the site in terms of required off-street parking, loading access, range, utilities, architectural design district, etc. Uh, and finally, any application that requires conditional use approval. This does not. Okay, so, so there is no use right now, but there will be use. Is that a change in use? That is a use. Well, it is a, a change. It's only a, a, a use that will affect the characteristics of the site in terms of required. In other words, a mere change in use okay. does not require site plan. Okay. A change in, the, in use or in the intensity of the same use that triggers a significant change in the characteristics for parking, access, drainage, etc. requires site plan approval. So do we want site plan approval or not? Yes, I do. Well, you know what? What is the temporary structure for another That's my only question. What is it? What is it? Uh, it's the sales shed. Uh, excuse me. It's, the, it's a, sh a shed. Excuse me. Yeah, I've got the picture.
the building is never for any conceivable use to satisfy the parking requirements of the code. The code protects it, provided that they're not increasing that demand. And the tables that Stevens has presented purport to 